Hi, I'm Ryan from Acid Rain Technology, and I'm here at Patchworks today to give you a little introduction to our new module, the Constellation. We call the Constellation a parametric trigger and gate sequencer. Um, and here we have it patched into an SSF entity bass drum, a SoundForce 909 samples module, and all that's being mixed together with the SSF vortices. Constellation has eight trigger and gate outputs, and each of those correspond to a channel button here, one through eight. Each of the eight channels on Constellation has eight individual Euclidean patterns that you essentially stack on top of each other to make interesting rhythmic outputs. Channel one is patched into the kick drum here, and we'll start making a pattern. So on pattern one, we've got a length of four steps, and if we turn up to one event, that'll give us a pretty typical four on the floor kick drum pattern. Now if we change that to three events, it gives us a bit of syncopation. And if we change that length to seven, this is an even more interesting pattern. Now I'm going to unmute channel 2. Channel 2 is patched into the clap sound on this SoundForce module. And it's also playing a uh, length of 4 events 1 pattern. So if we make that length 16, it makes a sparser pattern. Now let's unmute a second pattern here. And these two patterns are being combined used, using OR logic. So we'll make this second pattern a length of 32. And we'll rotate that around 17 steps. And we'll add a burst of three. So now the burst is adding events on the end of that single event. If we turn up the ratchet, we get kind of a trill of claps. Now let's unmute channel three, which is the closed hi-hat. Now we're going to um, leave that where it is and unmute the open hi-hat. Now it's playing the same thing, the length four events one pattern. Let's change that up. Let's do a length of four events one and then rotate that too. Length four events one, rotate two. And that gives you an offbeat open hi-hat. Now, the inputs on Constellation are for voltage control of some of these pattern parameters. So how about we go to the channel 2, pattern 1, and then assign input 1 to pattern 1's events. Now I have a navigator here with its fader voltage output from 0 to 5 volts patched into input 1. If I turn this up, it's going to change the number of events. You can see the number go up and down as I move the slider from one event all the way to the maximum number of events, which would be 16 based on the length. So at in-between values here, you can get really interesting syncopations. This is kind of a way to explore different rhythms. Now if we like what we have here, we can go ahead and save this to slot one of this bank three. Now we'll make some changes. How about we go into the kick, um, change the length to 11, turn down the number of events, 
And let's go into the uh, open hi-hat and change the length to eight. Actually, that's the closed hi-hat. We'll go into the open hi-hat and change the length to five. I've got kind of an interesting uh, uh, polymeter going on here. And let's save this to um, slot two of this bank. Now in live mode, we can dynamically play between those slave slots. So right now we're in this one, but we can move over to this. And if I hold it down, it will play this save slot. And when I release it, it goes back to this slot that we were on before. Or if I press load, you can load between them permanently. You can think of that as like latching or momentary loading. And here in the live menu, I can also mute various um, patterns. So we can just do the kick and the open hi-hat. Bring in the closed hi-hat. Move to this pattern. And bring in our clap. Now you can see how this ability to bring in different elements and switch between save patterns can provide a huge amount of variation over time in a live performance scenario. Uh, the Constellation has 20 save slots per bank and it has 999 banks, so effectively unlimited saving capability for any patterns you can think of. So Constellation takes a somewhat similar approach to triggers and gates as Maestro did to control voltage. Instead of defining exactly where your triggers and gates are gonna be on say like a grid sequencer or an XOX style sequencer, you define where those gates are gonna be uh, through a set of parameters. And in Constellation's case, those are Euclidean parameters. So that means a length of steps, a number of events that happen along that length of steps and a rotation of where those events are going to be uh, placed around those steps. And what this allows you to do is, um, you know, that's only three numbers. So this allows you to uh, apply control voltage to each of those parameters and that creates kind of infinitely morphing and changing rhythmic patterns over time where if you're unsure what exactly you want to make, you have to come up with it just out of your head. The Constellation, on the other hand, gives you a very quick way to get something happening, like uh, you know, just a pattern length, events, and maybe a rotation or ratchet. And then, as you're listening to that, make a decision on how you want to edit it or change it into what you're trying to achieve. Uh, we really feel like Eurorack excels at happy accidents, and we wanted to bring that into the uh, gate sequencing realm with Constellation. Yeah, so at Acid Rain, we are very focused on the concept of performing live with a Eurorack setup. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean in front of people, but more just playing the rack like an instrument. And for that, we actually included a live mode here on Constellation that lets you play your save data like a little keyboard. Um, so you can progressively hold down save slot buttons and move through those dynamically with your fingers, um, which creates a lot of, again, more rhythmic variation and the ability to do uh, sort of fills and um, rising energy of your drum patterns over time and then very, very quickly snap back to uh, where you were at before or a new pattern to load. Also within live mode, you can quickly mute and unmute channels, which lets you uh, bring the energy up and down as well. Yes, um, it is definitely a companion to the maestro, both uh, physically and functionally and philosophically. 
We use the same uh, button programming interface and physical buttons as the Maestro that allow for very quick and broad changes to be made. So obviously the Constellation works really well with drum modules um, or any kind of drum machine that takes triggers and gates in, uh, whether in or out of Eurorack. Um, but uh, it can definitely sequence through sequencers, so it can be the clock source for a sequencer. Um, it can uh, trigger your envelope generators. And then it also has uh, eight freely assignable CV inputs uh, that work really well with LFOs like the Maestro or even um, fixed voltage sources like the Navigator that you can look at that as kind of adding your own manual controls to the internal parameters of Constellation in a configuration that works best for you. Thanks again for watching today. This is Ryan from Acid Rain at Patchworks. If you have any questions about the Constellation or any of our other modules, uh, please send us an email or um, find us online. <laughs>